Hello everyone, welcome to your Porterfield Run Farm. We have a delivery problem for this Saturday. Uh, one of our close friends has had a death in the family and I was going to be going to the viewing and the funeral for that and that will affect the, deliver the deliveries. Excuse me. So as a result, I'll be going to the South County Seasonal Farmers Market from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. I'll leave there immediately, come home, unpack, repack coolers with orders and then proceed with deliveries from there. I imagine I'll probably get started around 2 p.m. to 2.30ish, so just be aware of that. That way you can uh, set your cooler out a little bit later on. Also, if you know of anyone who usually puts in a delivery with us, if you could please share the video with them so they can get this information as well. That would be great. Uh, the website will open up at 8 p.m. on Thursday and close back down at 8 p.m. on Friday. Uh, we're all sold out of chicken for right now. so. Uh, we will have some more of that probably in another few months, and I'll show you some more about that here in just a second. Now, let's go see what's happening. And here are the chickens. The new chicks. So these guys will be ready in about seven weeks from now. Let's go ahead and cut to a video I recorded this morning. And here they are, coming out of their shipping container and going into the brooder. Nice. This batch is really thirsty. Usually they're not this thirsty. So we're happy we uh, were able to get them some food. Food, excuse me, it's early in the morning. Water, I mean, water. Yep, but there they are. That was pretty cool. Seen them out of the box and everything. Now let's go into the garden. It's pretty windy out here today. I'm actually using one of the kids' winter gloves to try and stop the wind from hitting the microphone so bad. Everything in here is coming along pretty well. We have not had any rain in a long time but we've still been sprinkling the garden. Here's one thing I wanted to show you as well. Uh, we've always used the wood chips as our primary input. Now we're giving it a shot, like everyone else in the sphere of this high intensity gardening. We actually pulled the wood chips back, put down a layer of high quality compost to grow in that so we can get a little experience with that. Just in case one day we cannot acquire any wood chips, we'll have some experience with it. That particular compost is the same stuff that we use to start everything in the paper pot system. So it is a relatively high dollar product that we're using. We started out just using what we could find and slowly progressed up to a really nice product with that. It's really helped out with the germination in the paper pots. You can see where some of these lettuces have been harvested today. Plenty of Swiss chard. Uh, I believe some more of this was probably harvested today, which is cool. We should ha also have the store stocked before Anna has to go to the funeral situation. That's our goal anyway. Hopefully we can attain that. Let's go down to the second garden. Here we have some pepper plants that have been transplanted more peppers through there and things of that nature again I haven't I've been mostly working on building things I haven't really spent much time in the garden we did get the chicken shelters finished up but we're not quite finished with them and I'll show you what I mean here in just a few minutes we'll look through here quite a bit more Swiss chard some more broccolini Y'all have been interested in that, liking that. Don't know how long it's going to last with all the heat that we have, but who knows? It might be A-OK. -okay. And there's some more of the broccolini through there. More of that thyme that you guys have been getting. As your fresh herb. And more of the lettuces through here. It does appear that some of this was harvested today, too. 
we are behind on weeding as a result of working on everything as well for the onions carrots and the strawberries they're coming up look at the asparagus starting to get some strength to them now which is nice and some of the strawberries So these are doing pretty good. Here's a part of the newly established garden. These aren't doing so great just because when we first establish a garden, it's always like this. But we do have some strawberries on them. So how cool is that? Now let's go check out one last thing. Here they are all finished up. Definitely prettier than the first model I made. Mostly due to the roofing material being new for these. Don't mind the dirt. I've had them in storage. Had this metal in storage for about a year now. And we finally got them completed. So what we're behind on now is we have to get the chickens into these shelters. The other chicken shelter that's up uh, we're fertilizing our yard with. We need to get the chickens out of there and bring that shelter down here. So we're going to put the chickens that are not laying yet in this particular shelter. shelter. Split up the chickens that are in the coop half and half between this and the other one that we have. And we'll be able to run those chickens in here for two weeks until the broilers are ready to go inside of this coop. And the goal is to run them three wide basically, but at a diagonal pattern, much like what uh, you'd see with Polyface Farm up there in Swoop, Virginia. We also had a nice gift here of a small bale of hay. We're gonna be using this for the laying boxes for the shelters we have five laying boxes per shelter uh, i think what i'm going to do is just eventually just tarp this one off down here for now uh, and find a place to put everything away and i mean all of these pieces of plastic from these tunnels all those need to be in a barn situated before i can get other stuff in there so, long and short, we're getting closer. Hope to have these dudes on pasture here real, real soon. Who knows? We might start moving them as early as tonight. Well, thank you all so much. We appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.